Hello friends, in the last video we had discussed about the three marks very important the matrix chapter. In this session again we are going to discuss about last three three marks questions. Let us start the session. So there is a first question here if A and B are invertible matrix, invertible matrix is nothing but if A and B are any matrix AB is equal to BA is equal to I. B is the inverse of A and A is the inverse of B. So the same order the proof that AB inverse is equal to AB the whole inverse is equal to B inverse into A inverse. So before proving this question we know that so we have to know these conditions. So that is the if you are multiplying with I into I into A matrix or A into I matrix the always the answer gives A. Otherwise, if you are multiplying with I into A matrix, the answer is always A. And there is one more condition. If you are uh, multiplying the A with A inverse, the always answer I. Otherwise, A inverse into A, the always answer I. I is nothing but identity matrix. Okay. So, if you know these three conditions, are uh, four conditions, there are more conditions, we can easily prove this question. Okay. So, we know that uh, here the A into A dash is nothing but I. So let us consider, let us consider AB into, look at the board carefully, AB into AB inverse is equal to I. Here AB into AB inverse, A into A inverse is I, AB into AB is also in what? I. Is it correct? So first step we have to multiply. So first we have step here pre-multiply. So pre-multiply, so pre-multiply by here A inverse. Sir, if you are taking AB whole inverse into AB that is equal to I. If you are taking that condition, we have to multiply the post multiply. Okay. So, you just uh, you just follow this method and we can also try the AB whole inverse. See, AB, o, AB whole inverse into AB and that is equal to I. We can also follow this method. We will get a marks. Okay. I will uh, I'll explain this method. You just try this method. Both are similar methods. Okay. Okay, and we are multiplying with A inverse. So just we are multiplying the left hand side. So left hand side. So A inverse into remaining terms that is a AB, AB. So AB into right on the remaining terms as it is. That is AB inverse into we are multiplying the A inverse to the left hand side. We are multiplying the A inverse to the way left hand side. So using the commutative property, as you know the commutative property of multiplication. A inverse AB we can also written as A inverse into A that is equal to B. This is what commutative property. Remaining step as it is do not do the anything here. So what is a A into I? It is A. What is a A inverse into I? Good. So that is A inverse. Is it correct? Okay. And what is a A inverse into A? Yes. That is I. I into B and into that is a AB the whole inverse is equal to a inverse and what is the i into b good so that is a b i into b is what b remaining terms a b the whole inverse is equal to a inverse as it is okay so uh, here okay here the b into there is a AB whole inverse is equal to we got A inverse. Now we have to multiply again the pre multiply again pre multiply pre multiply by B inverse what B inverse there is a B if you are multiplying the B inverse will get I I into these things will get a final answer. So yes you can multiply the left hand side there is a B inverse into B this type as it is here. So there is a AB whole inverse and that is equal to right on the left hand side is B inverse there is a B inverse into A inverse A inverse as it is B inverse B inverse what is a B inverse into B so that is very good that is a I A inverse into A is nothing but I B inverse into B is also nothing but what I and here the A B inverse as it is and that is equal to here the B inverse into A inverse as it is what is a I into A it is A. What is I into AB inverse? Absolutely it is what? AB inverse. So AB the whole inverse and that is equal to B inverse into A inverse. Hence finally we got this answer. So this is what a very easy question. 
just pause the video and note it down we'll move on to the next question so the next question for any square matrix a with a real number prove that a plus a dash is a symmetric matrix and a minus a dash is a skew symmetric matrix what is a symmetric matrix if a is a any square matrix if a is a any square matrix here a is equal to a dash is a symmetric matrix otherwise b is equal to b dash c is equal to c dash whatever it is and what is a skew symmetric matrix skew symmetric matrix here if you are taking b so b is equal to there is a minus b dash so b is equal to minus b dash it is a condition it is a definition of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix then how do you going to prove this a plus a dash is a symmetric matrix how do you going to prove a minus a dash is a skew symmetric matrix very interesting and very easy question this is for the three marks question so there is a solution here so this question was asked by 2014 june 2014 june question and very easy question so let me prove first a plus a dash is a symmetric matrix let us consider let us consider here so b so b is equal to let me call this is what b so a plus a dash a plus a dash you just call it is b if you are consider as a b we have to prove a symmetric symmetric is nothing but b is equal to minus b dash the sorry b is equal to b dash okay if you have prove the b is equal to b dash hence it is symmetric okay and uh, you just apply the what apply the transverse matrix so transverse matrix and both side so sir what is a transverse matrix transverse matrix is defined as just interchanging rows and columns if it is order is 2 cross 3 we will get transverse matrix is 3 cross 2 ulta okay and here apply the transverse matrix on both side hence that is a b dash is equal to a plus b sorry a plus a dash the old dash you just apply the what uh, transverse matrix that is a b dash is equal to a dash plus a dash the old dash and also we have to know the condition a dash the old dash is nothing but what a and what is a a b the old dash a b the old dash is nothing but a dash plus b dash okay so then what is the a dash the old dash yes very good so the b dash is equal to a dash plus a dash the old dash is nothing but what a what what we are consider a plus a dash is equal to what it's a b so it's b dash is equal to it is b hence hence what so a plus a dash is a symmetric next one we have to prove a minus a dash is what skew symmetric if you are considering the any a minus a dash is a any matrix we have to prove like b is equal to minus b dash otherwise if you are taking c c is equal to minus c dash so let us consider c so c is equal to is so the same thing consider c is equal to a minus a dash just we are considering the c we have to prove c is equal to minus c dash otherwise minus c is equal to c dash okay the same thing just apply transverse matrix on both side okay there is a c dash is equal to a minus a dash this is the properties of transverse matrix the same thing here you just see the conditions the old dash so c dash is equal to a dash minus this is what a dash the old dash just we are applying the word transverse matrix correct so c dash is equal to a dash minus what is a dash the old dash yes it is a sir c dash is equal to this is is it possible to write the c no so let us take the c as a minus as a common minus as a common then what is the remaining terms there is a a a and minus a dash so this one we can also written as like c that is equal to minus c therefore c dash is equal to minus c is a required answer so hence you just conclude the answer so a plus a dash is a symmetric matrix and a minus a dash is a skew symmetric matrix pause the video and note it down we'll move on to the next question so the next question if a and b are symmetric as you know the definition of symmetric a is equal to a dash b is equal to b dash symmetric matrix of a same order then show that ab is equal to symmetric ab is equal to symmetric if and only if if and only if a and b are a and b 
commute that a b is equal to b a so this question was asked by 2000 2017 2017 march question and very important question and very easy question okay so they can repeat 2001 that mean 2021 2022 they can ask repeated they can repeat this question and very easy question then how do you going to solve this question yes so your a b first let me write it is given so uh, let me write the given here so what is the given the given condition a and b are a and b are symmetric so a is equal to a dash a is a symmetric and b is equal to what b dash so this is what given correct then we have to we have to prove that show that a b is a symmetric let me prove it is uh, forward and backward there are two uh, two conditions we have to prove a b is a symmetric a b is a symmetric let a b is symmetric a b is a symmetric is nothing but is nothing but a b is equal to a b is equal to what there is a a b the whole dash a b the whole dash and that is a a b is equal to is it correct a b is a symmetric is nothing but a b is equal to a b all dash and as you know the property the property of uh, what uh, the transverse matrix a b the old dash is equal to that is what b dash into b dash into a dash shall write this property there is a b dash into a dash so just write on left hand side as it is and what is a b dash here what is the given here b dash is equal to b and what is a dash a dash is equal to a hence it is hence it is a b a b is a commute dot a b is equal to b a hence it is true that's it very simple you know <laughs> so here uh, therefore therefore it hence it is true hence it is proved is it finished no we have to prove there here they are given if and only if if and only if is nothing but we have to prove the backward so backward is nothing but here so here the given so a b is equal to a b is equal to b a they are given correct it is what the inverse inverse the here a and b are commute that a b is equal to b a correct huh? yes apply the transverse matrix on both sides so just apply transverse matrix and both it because why we are applying the transverse matrix because we are proving a b is equal to symmetric a b is a symmetric is nothing but a b is equal to o b o a b old dash so that is a a b a b old dash is equal to b a the old dash just write on the left hand side as it is there is a a b the old dash is equal to how do you write the a b the old dash using this condition there is a a dash into b dash but what is a, a dash a dash is nothing but a what is a b dash b dash is nothing but b it is a given hence the a b o dash is equal to a b simple hence it is proved hence proved so this is what a solution so in the next video again we are going to discuss about five marks very important question from the 2014 to still how much they are asking the questions for the five marks again we'll meet uh, in a five marks question so thank you for watching subscribe my channel and thank you